Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Budnitz, Director of the Medication Safety Program at CDC. Child safety caps are one of public health's great successes in preventing child injuries. However, more than 60,000 young children still end up in emergency departments every year because they get into medicines while their parents are not looking. One reason is that adults do not always fully relock safety caps after they use them. We worked with colleagues at the Georgia Poison Center on an exciting new study that looks at how well devices called flow restrictors prevent young children from getting into liquid medicines even if a safety cap is not fully locked. Here are some medicine bottles with flow restrictors. Flow restrictors have been added to over-the-counter infant acetaminophen and are available with some liquid prescription medicines as well. Flow restrictors are designed to work with child safety caps and are added to the neck of the bottle to prevent extra liquid from coming out. Parents use a syringe to draw up the correct amount of medicine for their child. To see how well flow restrictors work when parents do not correctly put the safety cap on, we fill medicine bottles with strawberry syrup and asked 110 preschool-aged children to try to get all the syrup out. When children were given medicine bottles with safety caps that were not locked all the way, 82% emptied these bottles in just two minutes. When children were given bottles with flow restrictors, but without any safety caps, only 6% were able to empty these bottles before the end of the 10-minute test. While the three flow restrictor designs tested in this study performed well, not all designs may perform quite as well. A next step is to develop safety standards for testing flow restrictors. And remember, the best way to keep young children away from medicines is to always fully relock child safety caps and put the medicine bottle up and away and out of sight of young children every time you use it.